everybody, this is Joanna. Today I would like to present to you two books about two different very tenacious diseases. The first one is about MRSA and the second one is about cancer. And as we know, most likely, uh, if you find out you have either of these, you are in for a bit of a fight until it is cleared from your body if you are fortunate enough to have that happen. And yes, thanks to technological advances and scientific research, we are making strides, but still it's not perfect. So uh, the first book I'd like to tell you about today is called Superbug, and the subtitle is a little long. Medicine disregarded it, antibiotics can't control it. MRSA, drug-resistant staff, may be the most frightening epidemic since AIDS. MRSA, MRSA, stands for Methicillin-Resistant Staphylococcus aureus, and this is a certain type of bacteria that has acquired a resistance to many of the antibiotics we have in our arsenal. So if you should have it enter into you through a small cut, uh, unbeknownst to you of course, um, you are in for quite a fight simply because the antibiotics we would normally use would not work to get rid of it. And so there's only a limited number of antibiotics that work. The problem with this is, of course, that many doctors for a long, long time were not recognizing this, were thinking it was something else, and they would prescribe an antibiotic if the infection would just rage and spread through the body and cause a relatively quick death uh, with a lot of fever and pain and invasion of the lungs. Um, and so Marin McKenna in this book has taken some time to investigate the appearance of MRSA, uh, ways it has been treated, ways it has been tracked by hospitals and the CDC so that uh, doctors are more alert to what's going on. This book has stories uh, of actual patients, some who survive and some who have died. And uh, there were, I shed a few tears reading this book when you hear about a small child getting MRSA and passing on. Um, it's not necessarily the negligence of doctors. Um, it's just such an incredibly ravaging disease that's very difficult to treat because of uh, society's overuse of antibiotics. Bacteria have uh, evolved ways to avoid uh, dying in the presence of antibiotics. So these antibiotics are no longer effective. If you worry a lot, uh, this book might not be the best book to read, but it's definitely informative um, and very helpful because uh, MRSA is a risk to just about anyone. The next book is about cancer, and no one up until this point has ever written a comprehensive biography of cancer until today. This book is called The Emperor of All Maladies, A Biography of Cancer by Siddhartha Mukherjee. And uh, once again, this is one of those books that is proving that doctors can write, and they can write beautiful books, very touching, moving books about the disease or condition that they, they are writing about. In this book I listened to on audio and I found it to be an incredible overview of the entire history of cancer and of cancer treatments from the early barbaric cuttings to the sophisticated search for the molecular underpinnings and treatments of the disease. Um, it's a phenomenal book and it highlights much of what I have been learning and teaching during my career as a cell biologist. And it's a little bit scholarly but it's of great benefit if you are very curious. So if you have a scientific mind, you would like it, but if you also know someone who is undergoing cancer treatment, um, why did the radical mastectomy fall out of favor? Why was it done in the first place? Why are these surgeries followed up with uh, chemotherapy? And how is it we are trying to create brand new drugs that are specifically targeted to certain features of cancer cells that are not showing up in normal cells? The only thing that was missing from this book uh, he just ever so lightly touched on anti-angiogenesis drugs and these are drugs that stop the growth of blood vessels because cancer seems to be able to draw blood vessels unto itself using specific chemicals and so there were drugs created and I think there's a, a lovely story behind that uh, an amazing story of how these drugs came about once again just like the other book there are stories where people pass on and then there are stories of hope where they survive and so um, I think both of these books are great for the curious medical person in yourself and also for the curious scientist. So once again, I'm recommending Superbug by Marin McKenna about MRSA and I'm also recommending The Emperor of All Maladies about Cancer by Siddhartha Mukherjee. Enjoy either of these books. 
Thanks for listening. Bye.